So what's going on? What's going on? What's going on, guys? It's your boy Tay, and today I am actually on my way to the Walmart Donation Center. I have a bunch of cans. We've been collecting cans over the past few months, and I'm about to go to Walmart and drop them off at the collection center, as well as some other things to Goodwill. And then I also have some packages I need to drop off, so I'm going to do that. I've never actually donated cans at a Walmart center, and I didn't even know it was possible. So maybe it's just like a northern thing. But I'm on my way there, or trying to leave. You see Katie Reed, she got me blocked in now. So, yeah, maybe I can't leave. But anyways, that's the goal for the day. I'll see you here in a little bit. So I'm here at Walmart and I'm about to get a buggy because I'm not about to carry a thousand bags in there with a thousand cans and bottles. <laughs> so, yeah. So the rule is you can only donate certain cans and certain bottles. You can't donate water bottles, which is crazy to me, but we're about to discover all this together for the first time. Is it crazy that I've never donated cans before? Have you donated cans and stuff at Walmart? How come I'm just now finding out about this? 10 cent a can, like, that's crazy. Who would've knew? That's a lot of cans. This should be fun. I walk normal. $25 limit. Hmm. Well, this should be fun. So <laughs> our first dilemma is this. Let's hope we don't have more than $25 worth of can and cans and bottles. I think we probably do. <laughs> Let's find out. See, I need to learn these things. I need to like write down rules or something. How, how, how does this go? Let's see. Figure it out. So apparently I just put a bottle or a can in there. I don't know. I've never done it before. First rejection. To me, it feels like I'm not really making profit because when you check out of a store, they charge you 10 cents for the cans that you're using. So pretty much they're expecting you to come back to put the cans in these bins. But if you happen to be walking around and find cans and just saving them and you didn't pay and come in here and cash out, that'd be a good idea. And then the $25 day limit, you can put as many cans in the machine as you want. Walmart just won't give you more than $25 a day. So right now we're at a dollar ninety. Right. <laughs> we're rich. <laughs> so I have all these cans to put in there. It's a good process. You literally just put the can in there. And it reads it and lets you know if it's good or not. This is what happens when you put a container in there that you're not supposed to. So the machine automatically cashed me out $13.60 because the bin container was full. I didn't know if they shut it down for the day or what the situation was. I went over to the glass bottles. I had two glass bottles, so I put those in for my little 20 cents then was told somebody actually comes and changes the bins. So I guess when the bins are full, they gotta get somebody to come change them out. So I'll stay here for a little bit to see how long it takes. I'm intrigued. It's 136 now. So far we got $13.60. Once you get a rhythm down pack, you can knock it out. So they're changing out the bins. That really didn't take long at all. Somebody went to go get an employee and they're already entering the cans back in the bin. So it hasn't even been released five minutes really. You can tell when they're working on your bin in particular because the screen will start doing all kinds of crazy stuff. And then you can also see because it says that somebody's cleaning and they needed to be signed in and logged in. So you can see the process that's going on while they're actually changing the bin. I thought that was pretty cool. 
see the red light come back on the thing started spinning so that means it must be time to start putting bottles back in the machine and we're ready to go so i know this was a random video but again it intrigued me so i thought it might intrigue somebody else and you know me anytime i see something that could be potential for profit as well i want to put it out there even if it's only 25 dollars a day in cans so shout out to walmart doing the whole recycle program i do want to give them a big up for that because i didn't never seen this before especially in the south so that was my first walmart recycling center stop Bummer that you can only cash out like $25 a day, but it is nice that they have these centers available so you can actually recycle. Wish we had those in South Carolina, so that is one point for Michigan. But anyways, that's it for this video, or actually, we gotta go over exactly how much money I got. I'll leave the total of exactly how much money and all the cans and stuff that I got today, and like I said, I did go shopping, so I can't include that time. It only took me like 20 minutes to put all those cans in that machine, and then with waiting for them to refill the machines. So yeah, that's about it. As people are looking at me like I'm crazy. I will see y'all anyway, but as always, make sure that you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm blessing somebody tomorrow. How are you doing? Make sure you always get you a Starbucks coffee. You can't go wrong with Starbucks. So what's going on, what's going on, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tay and today we're here to talk about the very first prison to profit convention. That's right, it's a prison and profit convention where resellers, YouTubers, family and friends, we can all get together and hopefully learn a little bit of information, have some fun times, play some games, even may have a drink or two. I'm not sure, but you must be 21 or older in order to participate in having the drinks. There's gonna be giveaways, there's gonna be prizes, and so much more. And it's all going down here at Spare Time. So without further ado, let's go inside and see exactly what we have to offer. Okay guys, I know you're wondering, how can you get tickets to this event? First, let me say it's gonna be maximum of 85 people. Only 85 people can fit in this room. Really more, but I don't want more than 85 people. So 85 people will be the cap, will be the limit. And in order to pre-register, all you have to do is go into the description box below and check out my email or find me on Instagram and send me a message and letting me know that you wanna go. So if you wanna to come to the event, just make sure you send me a message. The first 25 people that come will automatically be drawn to win a prize in one of the giveaways. So you wanna make sure that you're one of the very first people to be there. And as well, guys, there's gonna be so much fun to be had. You don't wanna miss out. The very first Prison to Profit Convention. Hopefully I can make many more after this one. I wanna be able to can't spoil it. If you want to know what the purpose of this convention is for, you're just going to have to be there. Hope to see you there. Make sure you bless somebody today because I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow. At this point in time, your boy Tay is...